What's going on, my boys? How y'all doing this Sunday morning? It's your boy, YT Dan, back again with another video. But we're going to be getting in there today to talk about the new build of the Gladiator Beast deck. We're going to talk about the one card combo that has brought me 9 out of 10 victories in a 7 game win streak. And we're going to talk about um, how we're combating the meta with these new powers. So let's just jump into the deck list and get started. So this is Gladiator Beast Try. And the reason why I call it Gladiator Beast Try, because the Gladiator Beast and the Tri Brigade Monsters have made a full synergistic combination. This deck has come a long way, and I'll tell you what the um, epiphany was that brought this deck um, its win streak victories. Two things. Number one, realizing and understanding fully that we need a one card combo. So we're using Rescue Cat to facilitate the one card combo to play uh, Rescue Cat into the Test Panther. Uh, but that is not all. We have more one card combos. For wherever there is a Tri Brigade monster, that is not a Tri Brigade monster, but wherever there is a Tri Brigade monster, a Gladiator Beast lies therein. Because we have Gladiator Beast, Dragoness, as I told you before, banishing two cards from the grave allows you to summon this monster and it lets you special summon two monsters. But the two monsters that we special summon have changed dramatically. No longer are we 100% relying on the Augustus combo to complete our giant board. And also, um, we're not just relying on a Torix. We have added Gladiator Beast Noxious. Now this is the one card that changes the entire game. This is a level five monster that cannot be destroyed by battle when you use its effect. And its effect allows you to uh, take it from your hand, use it as a hand trap and block an opponent's attack. Now, what's also good about this card is when you summon by the effect of a Gladiator Beast, it could dump a card from the deck. So with this card, we are dumping Gladiator Beast Bestiari so that when we complete our combo, where it ends off with Gladiator Beast Heraklinos, Gladiator Beast Domitianus, and then possibly ending off with some Morgan Apex Avian. If we did it correctly and utilized Noxious, during this combo, we got an opportunity to summon Gazarus, and summoning Gazarus in the midst of the combo allows us to set up the entire board, take away two cards from our opponent, and then end our turn with a bunch of negates. So this has changed the game. This has literally changed the entire deck. So much so to the point that I re-engineered it. As you can see, I've taken away um, back row removal and I've taken away the um, forbidden droplets and I replaced them with evenly match. And then of course we're using lightning storm and uh, harpy's feather duster to make sure that we can just constantly remove any access cards our opponent tends to accumulate. This is definitely a go second deck. And with it being a go second deck, I have been uh, very focused on either taking second whenever I get the opportunity. And a lot of opponents make me take second because they like to set up their giant boards. What I found has been really helpful is that going through our combo on main phase two, uh, this card Nibiru, uh, like during the main phase, if your opponent special summons five or more monsters, you can use this effect. We have not been Nibiru because our combo allows us to get out Domitianus at a point where, you know, pretty much the opponent's like, dang, wasn't expecting that. <laughs> and then we're pretty much able to play around it. Also, one more addition. I've added this card. I've been uh, practicing with or playing with it. It's called Tauti Dragon. This card is really good because if you use Fusion Monsters to link summon it, your opponent cannot activate uh, monster effects during the battle phase. So it's not necessarily like an amazing card that's gonna break the game, but this card is a monster that is, you know, not a winged beast, not a beast warrior, not any of those things that mesh with the deck. So it can pretty much clear cards off the board so I can use Gladiator Beast comeback if for whatever reason I have too many beast warriors or too many winged beasts or whatever the case may be, my boy. But that's it for the deck explanation. Let's take a look at some of these replays and you can check out the full deck list uh, in the comment section below.
this duel actually is gonna highlight um, utilizing Gladiator Beast Noxious. Uh, so far, you've probably never seen anyone use this card, and I definitely, uh, it's my first few times using this card. So first off, we're gonna start off like normal, and then obviously we're gonna get ashed. So you can kind of count on getting ashed. You can count on a counter. You can count on your first card being negated. So don't play your best card as your first card, but because he played Ash, I assumed that he had more. So I just went ahead and stopped. Um, and then because uh, I have Noxious in the hand, I'm very confident that I'm not gonna die. So here he goes with his Destiny combos. And honestly, Destiny Heroes and uh, Master Duel, you know, minus uh, the, the super powered cards, plays very similar to Duel Links. You're just clearing the board, attacking for a ton of damage, and then activating the mass change to finish your opponent. Now, what's insane about this, he mass chains in the Dark Law, he attacks, and I'm gonna go ahead and use Noxious right here to stop him from vanquishing me. Then he uses uh, the Forbidden Drop to take Noxious's effect away, mass changes yet again for another Dark Law, and then runs over Noxious. Now, Noxious has been destroyed, and my life points, you know, remain <laughs> pretty low. But I'm in a position where now I have to face off these two Dark Laws. Now, in case you didn't know what Dark Law says, he says any cards sent to the graveyard are banished instead. And in addition, if I add any cards to my hand, it can banish one card at random. So with two Dark Laws on the field, if I add one card to my hand, he'll banish two cards. So when you're looking at these three cards in my hand, do you think I have game? If you don't see game with those three cards, you need to learn more about your gladiator beast, my boy. But we're gonna be getting in there right now, and I'm gonna show you how we clap those cheeks. Now, first off, we're gonna get lucky. Fature, Fature, <laughs> Fate fortunes the bows. So we're gonna go ahead and call that monster out and delete it. And then we're gonna get our combo started. So we summon Dragonus, and we're gonna attack. And because he can't respond, remember, this card can't be destroyed by battle, and your opponent can't play cards uh, when this card is attacking. So this attack is going through, regard no matter what he has or what he's gonna do. So I'm attacking, I'm taking 400 damage, and then we're gonna go ahead and special summon out two monsters. Then we're gonna special summon Bestiari from the hand, Main phase begins. Gizaris goes bang bang with those Dark Laws. Then we summon out Tamer Editor. Tamer Editor for Domitianus. Then you know what's next. Link him off for the Panther. Then the Panther uses its powers to grab the combat. Then we're gonna go ahead and come back and bring back the Tamer Editor. And you know what Tamer Editor is gonna do. Summon Heraklanos. Then we're gonna go ahead and send this card back to the deck take our comeback back with the power of Test uh, Tiger, then Test Panther, and the Gladiator Beast, Retari, not Retari, it's Questus, is gonna link off, and then we're gonna summon uh, some more Bird of Sovereignty, and then we're gonna summon the Apex Avia. Now, this is like the perfect setup where you put the two powerful Gladiator Beast monsters to the left, and then you summon the Apex to the right, because if you have more winged beasts, you want to put them here so they can't be targeted. I didn't do this every time, but this is the most optimal um, version. But as you see, this is a complete and total turnaround. Otherwise, would have lost this duel if it wasn't for this one card. So we need to give it up right now, my boy, for Gladiator Beast Noxious. The most powerful card. The most powerful card that you never heard of. It's time to get in there, my boy. I've got complete and total control of this duel, and he's going nowhere. And obviously, I gave him the dignity and honor of my gladiator beast. We didn't dawdle. We went right into battle, and we wiped him out, my boy. That's how you're supposed to do it. Honor your opponent. Go into battle, wipe him out, move on to the next duel. Now, let's check out the next example. So here's another good one. Um, I think I'm going uh, second, yeah. So this is Virtual World. And you can know how Virtual World plays. Uh, very similar to the Dark Law situation, they have a card that says if um, a monster goes to the graveyard or cards go to the graveyard, they get banished instead. 
So we have to be mindful of that. And then also this deck can make a uh, true king of all shenanigans. So we got to look out for that card too. But I'm not worried about anything like that. Y'all know why, cause I got Dark Ruler no more. Now I'm gonna show you the power of the Gladiator Beast right now. Remember, wherever there is a Tri-Brigade monster, there is a Gladiator Beast therein. Hiding in the midst, my boy. So first off, we're gonna use Fractal. We're gonna get the dump. Nerval's effect, gonna add a card to hand. Karis is gonna dump, summon, and then activate the effect to summon out Dragonness. Now you already know what happened. You see here, I've, I've Dark Ruler no more. I dumped into the grave. I've summoned my beast. This is all one card. Still, right now, I'm at six cards because I had to play my Dark Ruler no more. But right now, we're still pretty even in terms of like our hand and field state. We haven't lost anything, haven't gained anything. But now the pluses are about to go. We're gonna go ahead and attack with Dragonus. Dragonus effects activates and summons out two monsters. Now this is the most deadly combination in the Gladiator Beast deck. When you summon a Torix and Noxious at the same time, you're gonna get two dumps to the graveyard. And because you get two dumps to the graveyard, you've powered up all your Tribrigade monsters. And at the same time, giving your Gladiator Beast monsters enough control to continue this combo. Cause now I get to show you the full power combo. This one card has allowed me to summon this entire field that's coming next. One card combo equals four monsters to negate. No, three monsters to negate with multiple negates. So we're gonna use Noxious to dump Bestiari, and then we're gonna use a Torix to dump anybody over five. Then we're gonna go ahead and contact, bring out the uh, Tamer Editor for Domitianus. Then we're gonna link it off for the Panther, as you do. Panther's effect activates, adding the comeback to the hand. Come back, bring back the Tamer Editor. Tamer Editor activates the effect, summons Gladiator Beast Heraklonos. Then we're gonna send this back and then summon Darius. Then Darius is gonna bring back Bestiari. Now that's the difference. Before any time I played this deck, I never played Darius in combination with Bestiari, comboing with Gladiator Beast Noxious, which I sent back to the deck at some point. This is the moment. This is the breaking point. This is the changeover. This is the revolution. This is the combination that changes this deck. This is the combination that takes this from some random rogue deck. Now we're clapping some top tier decks. Let's continue. So we're gonna go ahead and contact Fuse, Bestiari for uh, Gazaris. Now remember, all you need is a wing beast and a rank two to go into some more. We have a wing beast, we have a rank two, we can go into some more. We're gonna go ahead and blow that up. Wing beast and rank two, some more. So now we can destroy two cards, summon some more and drop an Omni Negate. So now we're gonna have our Omni Negate we're gonna have our spell trap negate, and we're gonna have our monster negate and battle control all on the board. So that's gonna give us a total of three, four, five negate, six negates. And you can't target my wing beast, and you also can't attack me. Yes. So this is the power, my boy. One card, one card gave me all of this. Emergency teleport, no, no. Herc says no, no teleport for you. Turn it off, be gone. Kit's effect, discard, Nerval, add kit. I'll have two for next turn, my boy. Activates a card in the grave, apex negates stuff in the grave because I have two cards that can't touch the grave unless it's a monster effect. Apex negates that spell in the grave. A spell from the hand, Herc's got control of that, negate. Negate. Oh yes. Now, monster, activate the effect. No, Domitianos has control of that. Negate. Wonderful. Now I'm like, well, I've got you now, boy. Impossible. He still got plays. So he managed to continue after everything and he still had plays. So it's gonna get spicy, my boy. So here we go. Here's this Crocodilius. And then he's gonna bring back his virtual world QB. And now he can go ahead and hit the true king of all shenanigans. 
Now, here's something. Here's something. I thought at some point, if I'm not mistaken, that he was going to use this effect and discard two cards. Quick effect. You can discard two cards and target one card on the field and destroy it. I thought he was going to use this effect to kill somebody on the board. He did not use that effect of the crocodile to kill anybody. And I'm guessing he plans on using these two cards. But he made a fatal mistake. He did not read the power of Gladiator Beast Domitianus that says I can control the battle. And because he didn't read, he's going to lose. So I'm going to control the battle, make him attack me. He's going to try to negate all the effects, but it's too late because the attack target has already been chosen. Therefore, even though my effect is negated, you can't change the attack target. So, yeah. All right, here we, here we have another one, my boy. As you can see, we got many plays. We have Rescue Cat. We also have Karis, and then we have a Glider Beast in hand. So we've got a few different plays here. And as you can see, we're playing against the Golden Lord with his Golden Lands. So you know what shenanigans they're going to be up to. Set three in the back row. Puts his Golden Lord in. So we're going to check this guy out. He's got Rivalry of Lore Lords, goes in match, um, dumped in the grave. And then he has his board set up. Like, so whatever he has back there must be formidable. So I've got to be careful. He gets another free set. Good for him. And then it's my turn. Dud oak. Ooh, wonderful. Exactly what I needed. Lightning storm. Get that shit out of here, boy. Solemn judgment. Well, all right then. Solemn judgment. Stops that. He's like, stop it. Rescue caddy. He's like, um, summon a golden lord. I'm like, uh, okay. So I'm basically trying to get him to bait out whatever that back row is, and my bait is successful. Now that he's negated rescue cat, I'm free to do my Karis combo into dragon this, and you know what's next, my boy. So let's go ahead and watch me perfectly execute my one card combo yet again. We're gonna go ahead, summon this beast, activate his effect. We're gonna call it by the grave and get this shit up out of here. And then we're gonna attack. So now that we've attacked, we can go ahead and do our combo. We're going to summon our monsters. We're going to dump Bestiari. And then we're going to contact Tamer Editor. Tamer Editors activate the effect. Domitianus. Link it off for the Panther. The Panther's going to add the uh, comeback. Comeback's going to bring back Tamer Editor. Tamer Editor no Shokan. Tamer Editor activates his effect to summon. Glider Beast Hurt. Spin it out. Dedius. Dedius. Bestiari. Bestiari. Negate. Okay, here's Gazarus. Now, I can't kill it due to his effect, but, you know. Sucks. So, we're going to go into um, the Bird of Sovereignty. Now, the reason why I did that the way that I did it is because I contact Fuse to bring out this Gazarus. If I ever bring it back from the, if I ever have a card like come back to bring it back from the graveyard, it's gonna be able to use its effect again. So that's why it was important to go through the whole rigmarole of summoning it. Because if I can bring it back, I'm gonna be able to blow up cards. But now I have my board set up. I have multiple negates. All I'm facing down is the Eldritch Lord with one card in his hand. Let's go ahead and negate some stuff. Apex Avian flies up high to negate that graveyard effect. Because as I told you before, Domitianus and Hurt can't reach it because it's a trap card activating in the grave. Then the rest of the Pankratos isn't enough and Scoop Phase has been initiated. All right, my boys, this is actually the last duel, which is a duel that I think you guys are really going to be into or interested in. This duel is going to take you back to the old school, take you back to Duel Link's world, my boy. This duel right here is against the Invoca, baby. This is a Dogmatic Invoked. So we start off. With this card is really busted. Uh, Magical Meltdown pretty much says fusion monsters uh, effects can't be responded to and also they can't be negated. That's really dangerous against this deck because, you know, that's my whole thing, negating their shit. And then um, as he goes on with his combo, I have no idea what he's doing, of course. But he looks like he's playing a, a in, Invoked with some Shadow stuff, with some uh, Dogmatic stuff. So... You know me, same old, same old. I'm gonna go into my uh, 
full combo here. So we're gonna normal summon the Nerval, and then we're gonna link it off for link one for the uh, Salomon Gray All Mirage, which will add this card to our hand. We're gonna dump, and then we're gonna go ahead and summon. We're gonna get rid of All Mirage because our combo's coming up, and we're just gonna attack and knock this over. Now, you might be wondering why I don't attack with this card. I've learned that attacking with cards that aren't Gladiator Beasts in this phase of the combo could be detrimental, so I just don't do it anymore. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do the combo. We're gonna go ahead and dump two. We're gonna dump a big one, and then we're gonna go ahead and dump Bestiari next. And then we're gonna go ahead and proceed, all right? There's Tamer Editor. Here's Domitianus, as you know, Panther. Look at this combo, it's so consistent, it's so good. Main phase two combos broken. Look at this shit. Gladiator Beast Combat, Tamer Editor. Tamer Editor activates his effect to summon Heraklonos. Then we're gonna flip it back. Tag out for Dead Use. Dead Use for Bestiari. Bestiari, negate. Contact, Gizaris, blow it up. Link it off. Y'all know what's coming next, my boy. The Bird of Sovereignty. And then we're gonna summon out the Apex Avian. This beast can fly so high into the sky, he can negate any card. So now we're facing off against the Invoker, against the Dogmatic Invoker. He has seven cards in hand, and I have one, two, three, four negates in hand for spells. I have an Omni negate, that's five negates. And then I have Domitianus, that's six negates, my boy. Let's do this. So he's, I'm gonna let him get his summon. Invocation, stop it. And a matter of fact, get that Alistair out the fucking grave as well. Now, I am baiting him because I want him to use the effect of Invocation to put it back into his hand. So I'm gonna stop that shit too. But I want him to use it so that he can't, you know, do that shit anymore. We had to get that Alistair out of there too. Because if he's got Alistair, you know, in the grave, he can do all his fusions. So we need to go ahead and keep Alistair out of the grave as well. So we're gonna go ahead and apex that shit. Keep it down there in the grave, my boy. And then he's gonna invoke. I'm um, gonna go ahead and negate that, my boy. We haven't given him kit yet. We have not given him kit yet. That means he's not worthy. Negate. Oh, is that Shadows? Negate. Sorry, I won't let you do it. I won't let you get away with the invoke a baby. You can't do it. He's like, I just want to invoke, dog. Shut your bitch ass up. Negate. Larry B's Heraklonos will not allow it, my boy. I just want to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Shut your ass up. All right. Apex Avian time. Well, not Apex Avian time. Sovereignty time. And then we're going to go ahead and summon another powerful winged beast. You know what's coming next. We're going to banish four from the graveyard for the omen. Banish. Now it's battle time. Now this card can't die by battle, but that's absolutely fine. We're gonna give it the punishment it deserves. And Hurt Rocklinos is gonna wrap this duel up for us. Yes. So this is the new power, my boy. Adding that best Diari is disgusting. All right, my boy. So this is the new power of the Gladiator Beast. It has taken me very far and actually gotten me to uh platinum four i plan on trying my best to continue my rank up shenanigans and adventures but next week my boy we're going to be getting in there with a completely new deck we're going to be getting in there with ddd but also on the uh length ladder on the rank ladder i am going to still try to clap to complete this uh this uh rank match uh campaign by monday but i catch y'all in the next one my boy wish me luck at locals today and as always, keep it day.